SEOs, this is Josh McDonald from joshmcdonald.net. Uh, just about to make a quick video for my virtual assistant on how to check if a domain name is, a, if an expired domain name is actually spammed or not. But I figured, you know what, why not make this video applicable to all SEOs and just post it on YouTube for everybody to see. So um, basically, I'm going to start this video off with just basically finding them, where different sources to check for them, and then I'll get into how to check if they're uh, spammed, we'll check different metrics, I'll talk about different metrics, and just go over some basic beginner stuff um, that you should look for when registering an expired domain name. So myself, I actually have a crawler that I coded to find my own domain names. Um, I have about 12,000 expired domain names that I've found on New York Times and other websites. Um, that's as, I sell those as a side business, but um, obviously um, you probably don't have a crawler, so I'm on domcop.com and they actually let you view their database for free. Now while it's uh, quite competitive to get one of these domain names, um, you if you back order, I'm gonna go over a little bit of back ordering too, if I remember to, um, but basically right here, if you go on if you go on Google right now, type in DomCop, um, high domain authority, expired domains, uh, this page right here is gonna come up, and basically um, if we go to the expired page, We'll find some domains that are already expired, hopefully. And sort by domain authority. As you can see, they have 3.4 million domain names here. And here we are. Um, so you can tell, even just without getting into it, um, a couple of these are going to be spam. I see one about payday loans. Uh, credit, uh, Cialis, you know, Pharma. Um, so basically to export all these, I'm showing 500 records at once here, as you can see. Um, now if you right click in Chrome, you'll have to enable this um, to extract all these in Chrome settings. Just check how to turn on the developer toolbar. Um, in Firefox is similar. Inspect the element. Now we'll see how difficult this gets. If you can see this where I'm navigating, basically navigating through, you highlight over each element like that. You see how this part up here will turn all blue. I'm falling down through here, falling down, basically trying to, to select these domain names here in blue. And you click on the little arrow. And eventually, eventually you can get to where it is right there there it is so right here you can see div ID equals all domains so if you double click that you can literally copy all 500 domains right there and then head over and Google GoDaddy bulk domain checker and you'll type that in here it is right here and now with these 500 domain names that we have literally ranging from 74, a domain authority of 74 down to I think it's like mid 50s, low 50s, 54. 54 domain authority is the lowest one here. So we're gonna go here, we'll paste that in, and we'll hit go. And as you can see, about half of those domain, name, domain names are taken, but half are actually available. So that's a good sign, but most of these are going to be spam. So the first thing you got to do is copy these available domain names. And then open up basically a text editor and paste in our list. So we need to format these to get them all on one on each row. As you can see, there's some tabs and new lines in here. A little kind of, it's kind of messy. So we're going to go to the top and find replace. This works both on Windows. Um, if you're on Windows and you don't use Notepad++, I suggest you get it. Um, it's great for doing things like this, managing text. Um, and I'm on Mac. You can use um, Sublime, Sublime Text. Sublime Text. Um, so basically, I'm going to type in 
tab for basically backslash tab space backslash tab and another backslash tab just like that and then I'm going to replace that text with a new line backslash t means back means tab and backslash n means new line so we're going to find that and replace those hit replace all and you can see it's starting to come together we're going to do it again go to the top hit replace and we're going to replace backslash tab with nothing Oops. Just take that out, backslash T, replace with nothing, replace all, and there we are. There's all our domain names right there. Now, the next step, there's a few different things we can go about. Uh, next, I will start with, we'll go on Google, we'll type in bulk. We'll keep things going for free right now. Right now, this costs nothing to do up to this point. Uh, we'll type in bulk domain availability, uh, domain availability checker on Google. Um, actually, sorry, bulk, my mistake, domain authority. We've already did that. Domain authority, and one of these first three will work. I don't know if this one works. Up to 200 domains at once, so it's going to cut off some. There was one that worked pretty well for me the other day. This one, I think. Paste in our list 100 sites at once. this one submit please try for some time okay we'll just go back to this one these are really finicky but I mean it's free so what can you expect um, I guess I will just take the top 100 for now and we'll see what we get okay here we go so this is checking the Moz domain authority. Um, basically, some of these. So, mo, the, a little bit about the domain authority and page authority. Um, these are metrics. They kind of are updated like the page rank used to be updated every three months. This is November 2015. I'm making this video. I know this November they are planning to uh, run an update. So they will, um, these will change soon. So, I mean, this one says 60, but if all the domain, if all the backlinks have been removed, if it was from a private blog network and the, and the owner let it expired and removed all the backlinks, um, this could go to one, you know, mid-November when they do the next update. And you can literally email Moz and ask them when the next update will be and they'll tell you. Um, okay. So, is this done yet? So we can see a lot are still, still haven't lost their um, authority yet. So this usually, usually when I run a list, you know, half of them will be reset to one, and you'll you'll really be able to just go through and and just check some domains of it individually. Um, but this isn't really the case. There's still a lot of narrowing down to do. So next we can check. There's a website. Uh, also free mschecker.ga that's mschecker.ga and it allows us to check the trust flow for free occasionally yes it is working today it will sometimes not work um, but right now of course it is as you can see now trust flow uh, it, it basically accounts for spam it tries to account for spam uh, no metric is perfect, but uh, Trustflow um, accounts for spam, whereas Domain Authority does not. So let's see here. A lot of them are zero, as you can see. And we're at 31 out of 100. Now these are these are literally the top. I mean, we're dealing. What, what was the lowest one here? It was like 55 Domain Authority. So I mean, these have been kind of picked through already. So I don't expect to get anything I really want out of these first hundred it's when you start going down through the list um, at DomCop here if you go to the you know page two page three page four that's when you start finding something that you know someone might have skipped over and you might be able to find a you know a diamond in the rough okay we're at 70 That's running. I might as well. Actually, no, I won't run it. 
it through. Yeah, I might as well. Okay, on Ahrefs. Now, the difference between Maw's Majestic. So Majestic is, of course, the uh, the calculator, I guess, of uh, trust flow Maw's calculates domain authority. But Ahrefs, they do have their own. Um, they do have their own metric, and I do have an account here at Ahrefs, so we can actually just paste in. Uh, entire list, and it'll check out the entire list for you. Um, Ahrefs will have the biggest database of backlinks, has the has crawled the most. You know, one website might say your domain only has five backlinks, and Ahrefs might say uh, you know 25 or you know quite a few more. So they are definitely my favorite to use, and they do have a domain rating figure here. Okay, and it's pretty quick. It's awesome. Um, so right here it gives you, I'll sort by domain rating. Now sometimes what I'll do is I'll look for something, even if I'm looking at something that has a domain authority of say 10 or 15, I'll look for something that has a high domain rating because what, what means is HS probably found some good backlinks that Moz hasn't found yet. So I mean once once Moz, once you index the links that um, Moz hasn't, with, um, once Moz finds them basically, your domain authority is going to skyrocket and that's kind of what everybody pays attention to. Um, because Ahrefs, Moz, you can access for free. You can go to moz.com forward slash research tools forward slash OSE or just search on Google Moz OSE. And you can use this at, like almost unlimited times. Majestic, you can use, I think you use 10 times with a free account per day, sorry. And then Ahrefs, I think you can only use once per day for free or twice. So not many people use it unless you own their plan. I think it's one of the most expensive plans of the three Ahrefs. But they have the best services, so... Anyways, here we are. We're looking at a few domains, um, and these I imagine they're all going to be spammed, but let's pretend they're not. Um, and let's just pretend, say, we wanted this one here. The first thing I'm going to do, I'll copy that, but then I'm going to check out the anchors. Is the first thing I'm going to check out, and we're just going to see what it has for anchors so 71 percent you can see that 71 percent of the referring domain names use the anchor text money mutual now that's obviously been spammed because you know the first the, the most used anchor text probably should only use 20 percent at the most i mean on a bigger site even less like five percent and only the only anchor text that should be using that much would be you know the the website name itself, like this, this should be, this would be normal. This would be normal top anchor text. Now we have Chinese links, so this has obviously been a Chinese blog network, and it's spammed as soon as we see this. But I go down more. Um, nothing to worry about there until you get more Chinese links. But I mean, given the industry payday loans, it's a high chance. It's a highly profitable churn and burn industry. Um, so there's a high chance of this being spammed. I already knew it before I even looked at it. Um, but, I mean, these have been picked through quite a bit. Like I was saying, it's a matter of going... Well, this is done now, so we can check this out too. It's a matter of going through... Where were we here? You know, to the third, fourth, fifth, sixth page. This is going to take some time. This is why I'm recording this also for my assistant um, to go through these. But now this is mschecker.ga. They just finished the free... Uh, scan for us and you can see these have pretty low trust flow so of course um, Majestic thinks they're spammed anything that has a higher um, citation flow than trust flow uh, there could be a chance that it's spammed and then when it gets you know if this was 30 and this was 15 then it would definitely be spammed and be clear just by looking at the metrics um, what else can we look at back at Ahrefs um, sort by domain rating again you can see it has the no follow um, column here with the little cross. You see that the and you know you want to no follow um, to do follow like you ten percent of your links should be no follow. I think is normal. Twenty percent is still normal. So these in that perspective, fifty you know fifty thousand to forty five hundred. Um, it's pretty fair there. It's pretty fair. It looks good in that aspect. Um, 
but anyways, as we checked, the anchor text, uh, that check didn't pass. We found some Chinese anchor text. Um, no follow it did pass. And then the last check I would do, or I do for my clients when they buy domain names that are featured in uh, VentureBeat and TechCrunch and all these other websites from me. Um, if I want to ever show them what to check, I also tell them to check Internet Archive Wayback Machine. And sorry for the sirens, I live downtown Toronto and they just roar all night long. Um, so we're going to enter in our domain name, paste it here, browse history. And as you can see, these little blue spots here are are uh, basically points that it was crawled. So it actually doesn't look that bad. It's there's some content, good design. It looks okay on this one. Um, we'll go back. And of course, that didn't work. This is a pretty finicky website, but it does have most websites crawled we'll go back to the original map here maybe back to 2014 see something earlier nope it's all like this so really this passed but you know sometimes I would expect it to see it's to show, show uh, Chinese content or or just spam but you can actually see like this is the first time in a while that I've found a, a domain that actually has a decent decent homepage set up of course, a landing page. They're trying to get leads, um, so that would technically pass that test. It does not. It's not Chinese. It's not low quality. It's a well-built site. Um, what else? What else can I go over? We'll, we'll run it in Moz. Now Moz only shows 50 links, I believe, for free, um, and they also have a spam score, but that doesn't work that great. Now when you punch in your domain, um, a mistake a lot of people made, I made for a while, and I couldn't figure out what was going on, but there'd be a domain authority of 56, and there'd be zero outbound or inbound links. And that was because I didn't have it set. It goes automatically to this page, you gotta click this route, and it will show you all the dom all, or all the backlinks up to 50. And, you know, spam score, you can, you can just tell these aren't ASCII characters, Chinese characters, so it's spammed here. And Majestic lets you use their search, I think it said 10 times a day, it's something like that. Trust flow, citation flow, and then down here, this is this is my favorite part right here. You get this graph of follow, so you can tell it passes the follow, no, pa no follow test. Quite a few follow links. Um, and now looking at the the anchor text uh, pie chart here, Money Mutual is 70%, so um, it's definitely not spammed, especially when you have, or it is, definitely is spammed, especially when you're looking at 50,000 links, like 70% of that is what, like 35,000 or something? So definitely spammed, you'd expect to see, you know, a quite a colorful chart like this, where everything is one, two percent. Um, what else, what else? Cool thing about Majestic over the other two is uh, you can actually submit backlinks to be crawled. So if you go to the URL submitter, you can literally paste in a backlink. You know, say you had a, a backlink from New York Times. dot com slash you know X Y Z one two three, and you can basically submit for crawling. It'll let you submit a hundred a day, accept charge, and now Majestic is going to attempt to crawl this website. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, if you're doing guest blogging and stuff, and you want you you know you have a you have a uh, private blog network, you want high uh, high trust flow, so you can sell links on it. You want to update that trust flow as fast as possible. You can submit links and get that moving along quite quickly. Um, I spend a lot of time manipulating uh, uh, metrics like trust flow and domain authority. Um, what else? Anything else? Talk a bit about drop catching that we can also go over. Um, I wrote a blog post on my blog. I check it once in a while because I forget. What about me? Uh, there's back order right here. It's kind of I just I just quickly analyze the best companies to back order with. So there's Snap Names, GoDaddy, Namejet, Dynadot. Uh, name.com, domainmonsterpool.com. 
So basically go over there our terms so you can compare um, and I derive at the three uh, best drop catching services are snap names, namejet and pool. Uh, they have the highest uh, chance and they also they only charge you if it's a successful uh, drop catch. I know um, GoDaddy, I was on a live support the other day and they told me they weren't going to refund uh, my money if they didn't you know win the domain for me so definitely didn't back order with them. But anyways, you want to catch one of those domain names. I mean, you're on DomCop. I'm not affiliated with these guys, um, but definitely a cool little free tool they offer. If you want to search and filters, you have to pay, of course. But as I said, I have my own database, and I don't really use this a whole lot, but I have tinkered with it. Um, and now we're in expiring, so you know it's expiring in five days. So we could copy this funnierdie.com. Um, pretty powerful domain name here. Don't think it. It's flagged as a spammy domain name. Look at that. Hmm. Anyways, uh, you can copy that and back order it, and then basically, uh, with one of these websites for sixty nine dollars, um, and it'll continuously try to register it until uh, you know that time comes. Anyways, I think that's it for now. Covered uh, a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, check out my blog. Um, I sell all sorts of software. Do some freelance programming. Also business consulting. Um, I, if you want access to my crawler or you want to set up my domain uh, name crawler to crawl your own websites, I believe I crawl 30 websites with domain authority of 80 or higher. Um, you know, sites like New York Times, Venture Beat, uh, uh, The Guardian, you name it, Men's Health, literally any industry. I, uh, Zillow, their blog, I've crawled for those in the real estate industry. Um, literally crawled, I think, 30, 30 million, 40 million pages or something. Huffington Post, you know, Canadian and American versions. A um, bunch of UK websites. But anyways, this crawler is pretty powerful. I built it, and I will set up and install it on your server if you'd like, um, depending on what you need. But it would be somewhere around $3,000, $4,000 to get it all set up, configured. But of course, you would be getting thousands of high-quality expired domain names every month from it. Other than that, I sell domain names at $50 a piece privately. Um, if you want to contact me, joshmcdonald.net or Google Josh McDonald Entrepreneur, I'd come up and just contact, of course. Anyways, any questions, comments, send me a tweet, whatever you want, I'll get back to you. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, check out my other videos that I plan to make.